Hello and welcome to the Hornby Magazine channel. Right, to celebrate Hornby's new release of this HST first and last set that's just come out, um, I thought I'd bring to you something very special today. I wanted to bring you a HST special. So on Topleydale today, as you can see, I've got two HSTs running now, including my very own LNER set. Um, I've got no fewer than eight full liveried HST sets. It's gone a bit nuts. And uh, I'm gonna bring to you Quite a, quite a nice running session, I think. Um, I hope you enjoy the video as much as I'm about to enjoy making it. Right, let's get on. It won't be a surprise to you that we've got more HSTs as it's one of Hornby's more prominent models. And as you can see, we've got three of their latest additions here today on Topleydale. So starting at the back, we've got the network rail new measurement train. Then coming to the middle, we have the Intercity 7 at the new Scott Rail livery. And then at the front, we have the um, last and first HST set, including Sir Kenneth Grange for GWR. Also available is a cross-country set, which we don't have here today, and besides, I've not got enough lines for it anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the first and last set here. That's the latest one we've had arrive at the uh, test track here at Hornby Magazine. Um, now, 43002 was originally delivered on the 18th of February 1976, with 43198 on the rear, was delivered on the 13th of August 1982. Now, of course, that was the real locomotives, not the model. <laughs> so with the first one coming in 1976, and of course they're still running on the main lines today, they are without doubt the workhorse of our railways. Operational life was extended by brush traction when MTU power cars were fitted. So for example, my Scott Rail unit, which is whizzing around Topleydale now, um, that's been fitted with the MTU sound chip, um, whereas they used to have the uh, Valenta engines and they used to sound amazing and sound like this.
And then the GWR first and last set is there to help commemorate GWR's last service from London Paddington and its last diagram, which was the 1830 from London Paddington to Exeter St David. Right, let's go on with some more running. So hopefully you've enjoyed watching me have some fun on uh, Topley Dell with all these HSTs. Don't forget you can read the review of the first and last set in HM159, which is on sale from August the 6th, or you can read it in full on keymodelworld.com. Right, time to stop the trains now and I'll put it all away. Thanks for watching guys.